All right, we are gonna get started. Real quick, just wanna note, this is a basic ACA training, helping agents get started. Um, we are gonna start all the way from the FFM. So it, if you're an advanced agent, I can highly recommend that your time could probably be better spent somewhere else. But for agents that need a refresher, new agents, I'm very excited to be here. Very excited to be going over this stuff with you. I've been looking forward to this. Let's hop right into it. All right, this is gonna be our outline for today's presentation. We're gonna be taking a brief look at the FFM. Sadly, there's not too much I can do um, personally showing you how to set up the FFM. I already have an FFM already set up. I've even done my 2021 FFM training. So best I can do is show you the resources we have on the O'Neill Marketing website. I'm going to talk about ACA appointments. I'll also be using the O'Neill Marketing website for that. That's important if you plan on selling on a national scale. A lot of agents do like to start in the Florida, Texas area. Those are great states for ACA. But it's important to always be open to new territories. Then we're going to get into Health Sherpa. And I got three and four separate, but they're going to kind of go together. Quoting and Health Sherpa, we're going to look at both of those. And then at the end, we're going to talk about additional products. And mentioning that, we look at our beautiful um, triangle here. ACA is a great foundation for health insurance sales, especially during the open enrollment time. And I do like to stress that during open enrollment, ACA is your Trojan horse. Like it gets you in the door with government subsidies in there. It is extremely affordable, <laughs> affordable care act for people to get on an ACA plan. But the truth is ACA itself, especially if you're selling the bronze plans, which are heavily government subsidized plans, they they do have some gaps. They have high deductibles, they have high out of pockets and especially for families, you know, that could really add up. So with every ACA plan, I like to look into an accidental solution. And when I say that we're going to take a brief look at some national general products. Also, I really want to stress the importance of adding on ancillary. There are some great, dental insurers coming about now. O'Neill Marketing has picked them up. I'm in full support of them. In the past, I had been a little hesitant on dental, but Kerry really took some time and he found some great carriers that we can be adding on to a client's portfolio. And as always at the top, it's life. If it's the right client, life can be the, one of the best products you can offer for them and their family. Like I said, that, that uh, triangle basically is the medical, accidental, dental, life. I like to use this example as a reoccurring mnemonic. Also, because I'm going to get out of PowerPoint, we're going to be right in the field today. We're going to be looking at quoting. We're going to be looking at Health Sherpa, the O'Neill Marketing website. This is the last time I'm going to be in PowerPoint. I do want to stress real quick, make $100 next week. Carrie did just go over this if you were on the prior webinar. Bring an agent. If they join us, you can take the money up front or you can choose to have them in your downline. As always, like all of our socials, we'll send you some money. That's real important to us. We are trying to expand on a national level. Every little bit helps getting us out there. All right, let's get right into it. So like I said, we're going to start with FFM. And the place to go for that is portal.cms.gov. And we actually have a link on the O'Neill Marketing website that will help you get here. One thing I want to stress real quick, this right here where it says matt.ricky, that is your FFM user ID. And when we set up a Health Sherpa account later in this presentation, that's going to be important information. A lot of people ask me all the time, what's my user ID? This is where you get it. And, you know, if you haven't made... Um, I should say this. If you haven't registered with portal.cms.gov, this is where you this is how you do it right here. Like I said, I can't do it. I already have an account. So let's jump here. We're gonna use the O'Neill Marketing website 
to get into that a little more is always, this is my favorite website and the whole wide web. Some people like Facebook, some people like Instagram. I spend all my time on the O'Neill marketing products page, <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to click ACA Obamacare and all of those icons are clickable. It's very important to know, and they're jam packed with information and resources to help agents. And we don't stress this a lot when we're talking about ACA, but today we're going to be coming down to this. For training and information, please click on an icon below. We got Health Sherpa information and we got healthcare.gov information. Icons are clickable. We'll give that a quick click. And while I'm here, there's a couple things I want to stress. How to get your FFM certification. We got it written out. We've had other agents help us make this. Great resource if you need to get your FFM set up. Please, I put a lot of time in making it nicely structured, as streamlined as possible, and I'll show you that in a second. But while I got your attention, in case you already have a 20, or you've already done the FFM, a couple nights ago, I did the FFM. You can knock it out in less than 10 minutes, and I'm hoping to make that even quicker for people, just getting to the actual training module and getting it done. And I put that together right here. I even put returning agents to make it easier. So you can click that if you're returning. However, for new agents doing FFM for the first time, I'm gonna click right here. This is just where you'll go. You'll get, when you're all said and done, you will get a uh, FFM certification. All right, let's talk about appointments. We'll just get into that. If you guys want to learn about FFM and stuff, I'll do one-on-one -on -one trainings with you. It's probably the best way to do it anyways. It's a government website. There are some, um, there's some bugs in it, especially one thing to always notice when you're doing your FFM training is it opens a lot of different windows and you want to keep on top of that because if you have multiple windows open, it kind of jams up the, like the web interface. I don't know what you want to call it in the tech term but that could cause more problems for you. So I'm always available if you need help with one-on-one -on -one FFM trainings. Um, coming back here when it comes to appointments, and this is gonna be important when we start getting into Health Sherpa. Um, you know, appointments are very important. So in the, in the streamline of getting you set up with ACA, A, number one, do your FFM training, get it all set, done because it's way easier to contract with the carriers when we can supply them your FFM username and information and they can run it with NIPR. Next thing to do, and this is an important resource we have on O'Neill Marketing, depending what states you're going to sell in, we can tell you what carriers you, that are the best in your area. And Health Sherpa will also help with this if you're only selling in your certain zip code. You can click on any state just like I did. I clicked on Florida, ACA Florida, and it shows all of the ACA carriers that we have in that state. And this is the best way for contracting. A lot of producer agreements, we give you the option to check what carriers you want, but you can always email me or Carrie. Uh, Carrie and I don't know if you guys have met yet, but we have Sarah who's joined the team recently. She does a ton of contracting. She's extremely good at it and she gets it done very fast. So we can send that to her and we can always add new carriers or if you're an existing agent or we can get you set up with the carriers that you need to sell. One thing to stress and it's very important is don't just shotgun carriers. Don't say I want every carrier right off the bat because some carriers are pretty strict about you know minimum requirements. And if you don't hit that, it's gonna be way harder to write with that carrier in the future. So be wise and even if you need guidance from carrier myself to say, hey, these are gonna be some of the best carriers in your area, we're more than happy to advise on that and help you get the right carriers. And always we can find a solution. Let's say you left Molina off the table, we can always find a solution for you to write Molina and properly get compensated on that sale. So next thing that's talking about appointments, let's get into the heart of it here. And let me close some of these tabs. We're looking at Health Sherpa. And like I said, I, I do want to start with the quoting so everyone can see Health Sherpa and they can get a general idea of how important it is. One of my favorite zip codes around 33436. That is on the east side of Florida. Important thing to do is if you didn't have that zip code in there, this would totally be blank. You won't get anything. You might be a little nervous. I always put a zip code in and I ask the household member size. And I, I know incomes by heart. But we're going to, for this example, we're going to push ourselves out of a government subsidy. The reason I'm going to do that is going to show premiums at their full amount. Uh, so we'll definitely get out of that at 
50,000 for a one member household. And it even says right here, and this is really important to look at eligibility, eligibility, no savings. So what we're seeing here now is we're seeing all the plans available in this zip code. Oh, I should also stress this age and gender. I got a 35 year old female. Are they a tobacco user? You can click it here. Are they a parent of a child under 19? Are they pregnant? Are they eligible for other coverage? You can fill that stuff in. I think it's pretty important right from the start to check these. Sometimes I, I don't even ask the client that, but the more information you are able to provide up front is usually better. Come open enrollment. So scrolling down, we get some filter options here and we get to see all of our plans here. And this is, this is why Health Sherpa is such a great tool. Now, we're, right now we're seeing premiums at full cost, like I had said. So we got a pre, our cheapest plan in this area is gonna be an Oscar plan for 312 a month, deductible right there, out-of-pocket max, doctor visits, specialty visits, and generic drugs. Now, those, those are the quick points, right? And for some people, that's all they need. But if you need more information, I do want to stress this button right here, plan details. You can come in here and it gives you even more. Like now we're seeing what type of network it is. It's an EPO, the metal tier, expanded bronze, which that's new on Health Sherpa this year. A lot of people are talking about expanded bronze. It used to just be bronze, silver, gold. There is a platinum. You guys don't really have to worry about that, at least in the Florida market. Um, we got doctor visits. It shows what they are here before deductible, after deductible, prescription drug costs. And this, you might need a little more information. We got these clicked down. It, it's all here. I mean, tons of information. Even gets deeper, uh, deeper into information. I'll show you that in a second. Labs and imaging. Hospital and emergency. Mental health, substance abuse. Pregnancy and birth. And then down here, I love this tool. I've actually done some uh, back-end work with this, trying to make an interface for some of uh, new O'Neill marketing innovations coming. But you know, for adults, you can come down here. And this is something I recommend to all new agents. I just went to the basic Health Sherpa website and click quote. I mean, it does say I'm in my Health Sherpa. You can come in here and you can play around. You can go to any plan you want, click on it. This is open information. This is for anybody. You know, study it, get ready for it. If you got doubts, come in here, you know, what are what are adults going to get? What are women going to get on an ACA plan? This is the free preventative care stuff. This is every ACA plan when you come down here. And even for children, the government has mandated these certain things that are mandatory in ACA plans. So this free preventative care section, which is the bottom of this, um, that's going to be standard for every plan. So that's really important stuff to study up on and just learn it. And it can help you with sales. It can help you feel more confident selling ACA. And it, it's just beneficial for everybody all around. So definitely study up on this. And then if you want to take notes and you, you know, really tune in what plans are going to be right for certain people, you can jump from plan to plan and see it. One thing Kerry does before open enrollment starts, and I love that he does this, and it is even on the ACA page we got last year's here, is our top AC, our top 12 ACA plans for 2020. And that's, that's a mix of bronze plans, silver plans, gold plans. And he even gets into that and he says, like, if you're pregnant, this is probably the best plan for you. you know, if you have diabetes, this might be the best plan for you. I don't know if the diabetes one's in there anymore but you know we got resources we got it all and here's the other thing if you really need to get into you know like a summary of benefits look at this summary of benefits you click this right here we come in here we're getting i mean that's a lot of words it looks frightening but important questions answers why this matters then you come down here you get your common medical events one place a lot of people ask me um specialty i get that a lot and not all these are cut and dry they're not all the same i've been looking into a lot of signa plans lately but you will just say this home health care 50 percent insurance subject to deductible if it's out of network not covered limitations expectations and other important information 
you get it here. And the other thing about this, guys, is if your client wants more information on hand, you can always download these from Health Sherpa. I use Google Chrome. I recommend everyone uses Google Chrome. That's the web, um, I forget what you call it, but it's what O'Neill Marketing uses. It's the best way we can service people. A lot of our trainings do it. If you want it streamlined, use Google Chrome. But you can always come up here, download this, email it to your client so they have something to reference before they choose a plan and after they choose a plan so they can refer to this. Might save you some time on the phone from calling you. This always opens a new tab when you click it, so we're actually gonna exit out of this. I am gonna go back. I do wanna, you know, I, I, might say this, I'm picking favorites, but today my carrier of choice is going to be Cigna. Cigna's, Cigna's as good as it gets. I mean, I love Cigna and I'm not just saying that, but a lot of the plans I've been looking at and researching, if Cigna's in an area, I'm pushing Cigna hard. And better, great. Oscar, great. Well, I mean, they're all great, let's be honest, but I love Cigna. So, that's how Sherpa, I hope I got you sold on it. I will make a couple quick more points that I do want to say in the quoting. You can filter, you know, since I have this as a 35 year old, if you, we change that to 50, catastrophic is actually going to go away. Um, there's certain age limits for who uh, qualifies for catastrophic. Platinum, don't worry about that. That's only going to show overpriced blue plans at this moment um, or in this area, I should say. And these and then you can choose between an EPO or an HMO network. Another thing, oh, let's not get into that. All right, so hopefully by this point, I've got you sold on how beneficial Health Sherpa is for quoting and helping your clients with that, and the amount of information it's able to provide. And the other thing too is once you choose these plans, you can always add to cart. And then right here, just start application, just like that. Fill in the name, it can pull in past ones, or you can connect, and I'll get into this. You actually have to enable EDE to be able to have this connect. Some people that don't do that won't have this beautiful looking screen. It might look a little different. You can search by SSN. If you're doing a ton of data and you got SSNs, that can save you, that can chop some time right off the top. You can find clients like that, pull them in from there. And if it's unable to pull someone in, like let's make up, let's make up. Oh, Bob, not boob. I don't want you guys to see that. Let's just do a ton of these because that's not a real person, obviously. Select state, uh, my favorite state. Search. See, if they're not able to pull them in, you will be able to create a new application frame right there. If you are able to pull them in, and I don't want to you know, give away anybody's personal information on this webinar, I could type in mine. It might even give some of my personal information away. If they have had a marketplace plan in the past, they're a returning customer, or maybe you're their new agent, they had a different agent last year, it would actually pop up their information down here. It would show it. And if they have multiple plans by years, they might have two 2020 dates. You always want to go with the highest number. That is the most recent ACA application. If you're taking notes, if you're writing it down, I would highlight that because I can't stress that enough during the year. When you see plan years 2020, you see two of them, go with the highest number. Also, you can do the, the redirect to healthcare.gov. You select the state and this will take you right to there. Search at healthcare.gov, links directly. I'm not a robot. Maybe I am, I don't know. Start an application and you can find them all through here. You guys, uh, well, you're new off the bat. And the, this used to be the way you had to do it. Coverage year select state first name last name those are required this is a, look social security number optional and you do need date of birth always make sure you check this too and you'll be able to search through there i'm going to go back to health sherpa though that's a that's a personal one-on-one -on -one training and actually what i can do now is i can open up an incognito tab because i have a ton of information so we'll take a quick just a minute right here gather our thoughts about a lot of stuff right there, a lot of information, let it sink in for a minute. 
what I'm going to get into next here is setting up a health Sherpa account and also on the O'Neill marketing website. Let me show you that because this is a wealth of knowledge for you guys. And I would, I would look at it now, do all you can, cause we got to be ready to go come open enrollment. If you're waiting until November 1st to be getting this stuff set up, you're way behind the ball. This should all be set up as soon as possible. But you can always go to O'Neill Marketing website, click ACA Obamacare. I already have it open here, so I'm just gonna click that. We're gonna set all that. And you can come here, click Health Sherpa. And I have a whole page that I've I've made, and I got a lot of the information from Health Sherpa directly from them on how to set up a Health Sherpa account. This is Health Sherpa's video on how to do it. It's basically I'm doing the O'Neill rendition of it today. Um, but I got information here, fun arrows, everything you guys need. One more time, that was our products, ACA Obamacare. Scroll down, pass all the carriers, training and information, click the Health Sherpa, and it, it takes you right there. I've, I've tried to make it as streamlined as possible. The enrollment process even, that's something new I put up from the beginning to end and beyond. So this is actually for customers. This has been popping up. I've been here a couple times today, but don't worry about that. Just exit out of that. So this is HealthSherpa.com. This is their front this is their web page. As you can see, everything up here about blog careers, blah, blah, blah. This is for clients to type in their zip code. Where you want to look is right up here for agents. And once you get an account, sign in's right there. Pretty important to note. So we're going to click for agents. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start enrolling clients now. I would bet there's probably another button to click, but this is how I do it. All right, I've even made a fake email that I'm gonna trash after this. You can see mine and Carrie's info when I click on it, so let me do this. T-E-S-T. -T. And this will be the O'Neill, O'Neil, oh, wow, this will be the email you want associated with this account. Does that come 2020 at gmail.com? Oh, my bad. And then pick a password. One thing I love to stress, I get a lot of calls all the time about, hey, what's my password? I don't know your password. Whatever you gotta do to um, save your password, please write it down because this will be the password you choose. I wanna make it test. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Sign up. All right, here we go. So once you do that, that's going to be your email for login. That's going to be your password for login. Extremely important. Please, I pray, write them down. You want to put your first name in there? I'm going to keep showing everyone's information. That's not good. Same. We're going to make my name Matt. I'm going to make my last name E. Company name, I'm just going to put OM. Now let's do only on market. Eh, it doesn't matter. Just put OM. Now, I, I should elaborate on that. The company name, what I advise people there is if, you know, you have an agency called Best, this might actually be someone's, Best Insurance Agency Florida. You can put that there. This is going to be, you know, personal info, some stuff that clients are able to see. And then you want to put your phone number there in there. I put my business line in there. It's the best way to do it. So I'm going to do that right now. 8349-24940. Continue. Please select a scenario that applies to you. And this is why I'm doing this today and not just saying, look at the health Sherpa because I wanna um, emphasize this. You wanna click join an existing agency. You don't wanna create a solo account and there's a reason why. And you don't wanna create an agency account. Maybe, I mean, if you have an agency by now, probably not on this webinar. Anyways, you want to click join an existing agency. Why do you want to click that? Because it is going to pair you with O'Neill Marketing. And you might say, why do I want to be pay, uh, paired with O'Neill Marketing? The reason you want to be paired with O'Neill Marketing, and this is something we've done this year, which is a huge benefit we're offering to agents. Um, we're doing 
constant checks on agents book of business. We're making sure, you know, past agents. And this was a scenario I, I briefly touched on um, earlier in this presentation is if somebody had an agent two years ago and they still have the client's data, they can swoop in and they can take them back after you've put your heart and soul, your time and effort into making sure this person's got the right plan and everything. They can come in, they can put them under them, become the agent of record. Therefore you can't, speak with the marketplace anymore. You're not the agent of record and the commissions are, um, they're going to go to that past agent. So one thing you want to do, and I can't stress this enough, this is crucial, join an existing agency, click continue, agency join code. Now their time, if, if you're taking notes, put a star here, highlight this O'Neill marketing's join code. I got it saved here, but it's six, three, three, four, six, three, three, four. Extremely easy to remember. That will link you with O'Neill Marketing and we can offer, um, you know, book of business protection service, which we offer for a lot of agents. Some agents opt out of it. That's totally fine. We understand that. But generally, most agents in the tiers they have get book protection from O'Neill Marketing. So after we add that in there, we'll click continue. Now, we can always update this later once we get into HealthShip and I'll show you how, but right off the bat, I love to, you know, make sure this has got as much information as possible. So, and they break it down. This is, this goes back to the second point I stated earlier. It's your carriers and appointment. That's why I put it right after FFM. So we're going to go back to that whole scenario. We're going to click a state. I'm going to use Florida. Like I said, Florida is my favorite state. When you click Florida, take a look at this. It shows all of the ACA carriers in Florida. Ignore Humana. That's a bug. Humana does not offer a medical um, plan at this time. I think that's more for the, the dental they may sell on Health Sherpa. We've asked them. We've talked to them directly. They have stated that as a bug at this time. So don't, no hopes up. Um, but I'm going to click my favorite carriers here. And here's the other thing, guys, blue, you know, you know, Florida market, I'm stressing this for the Florida market. I know we may have some other agents from other States, but if you're in Florida, you sell blue or you sell everybody else. So, you know, don't just, you know, shotgun, oh, I'm going to click them all. I need them all. No, you either click and better Cigna health first in the Palm place. Not everybody sells there, but for this example, we're going to do it. I don't know why we click Humana, Molina, Bright, Oscar, leaving off the blues. There we go. We're going to add another state right off of here. And if anybody knows me, you know my second favorite state is Texas. Come down here, we see all of our carriers in Texas. And the reason I did this is I actually have a, uh, a motive behind it. That blue thing I said is only in Florida. It, Texas. Yeah, you can click blue in Texas. Um, we offer Christus. Humana's still made it on there. Trust me, Humana does not have a medical plan in Texas. Molina, Oscar. So I got two states in there. We scroll down to continue. Depending on the states, you, you might have to scroll a little bit more, but we're going to click continue. Do you want to refer non-appointed carriers to us and get paid $50? Going back to that previous example with the blue. Uh, can't write blue. Uh, you could refer it out, but O'Neill Marketing, we got many solutions here. And Carrie had told me earlier today that we do have a blue referral that we are working with. So we can set you up with that. For, for the time being, I am going to click no. And if you want more information on that for any reason, uh, I can cover that at another time. But for now, with O'Neill Marketing, let's click no. Here's the other thing too, and this does go in other, other states. Um, let's say you're only choose like you are doing business on a national level and you're in Texas. Texas has Ambetter and it has Molina, but you've chosen, for some reason, you've only chosen to just sell Molina on a national level. You can refer the Ambetter business out, but don't, but don't do that because at O'Neill Marketing, we have referral partners. We will make sure you're able to write that. So to be honest, at this point, I don't see any reason we should be clicking yes. Let's click no. FFM user ID. There it is. Mine saved in there. But first thing I covered in here is where do we grab that FFM user ID? Portal.cms.gov. 
comes right from there. This is, you know, you want the sell share account, you got to know that. So make sure you, when you do actually for everything today, when you're signing up accounts, make sure you're writing down your login information, whether it be your email, your username, and the passwords you're using. So we'll plug in our username right there, NPN. That's my NPN right there. Plug that in. New agents. Took me a couple of weeks to memorize mine. The amount of forms I put that on now. Got it down. Continue. And here we go. That's it. This is the last prompt. We need to perform an NIPR check. If you guys don't know what Nipper is, NIPR, it's my slang term, Nipper. Um, it's, it's basically like a, a hub that tracks all of your appointments, your licenses and states, a lot of that. They, it's great. I mean, it's made my life a lot easier, but you do need to authorize that. So you're going to click that, submit authorization. And there we go. We have got a new your own health Sherpa account, you're in here, but that's only half the battle. And this is something uh, I definitely want to carry to stress in the update. This is something I love that health Sherpa is doing this year. Look at this. I don't really have Jane example client. That's just, she just came in here and this is great for testing, but ready to add your own clients. You know, you can do that there, write a new application, run a quote, watch our product overview, test drive a demo of our application. It's all there. When you create this new account, you know, and that's what I say is, you know, don't say, okay, I'll, I'll spend five minutes. Like literally I probably took double time to do that. You guys could probably knock out that registration way quicker than I did for health Sherpa, but you know, set, set an hour aside and really play with this, play with test drive out a, a demo of our application, click in there, play around example client. I mean, I'm loving this for training purposes right now because it's all here. I don't have to disclose um, personal client information, any of that stuff. Anyways, I don't want this to go away, but oh, another thing, if you do a private, you can import them here. Same as import from the marketplace. But let's, let's take a look at each tab real quick. I want to highlight those clients. You guys might be like clients and leads. What's going on? Remember when I showed the start application earlier and I'll show you what that looks like real quick. It was this screen. Remember, see, it's not as beautiful as it was because you do have to enable EDE. And sadly, I can't enable EDE for you guys today. It requires me showing some of my personal information, uh, such as like my address, my social security, but trust me, it's just basic. It's like, um, identity check. The hardest part about it. Some agents struggle with is they ask you the identity questions. Like, let's say you've never applied, like you've rented your whole life. You've never bought a home or applied for a mortgage, I should say. And then the, the identity questions are like in 2012, you applied from a mortgage from which of these financial institutions? Well, and there's the option that says I didn't, you know, so, you know, be a little focused on that. Make sure you're supplying the right information. Um, if you don't have that, you got to do the redirect to healthcare.gov and that's a pain that could add up some serious time. So make sure you enable EDE. And going back to that original page, you don't have to go there to do it. You can enable EDE. Yeah, okay, here you go. You can enable EDE right up here. All right, so clients. Clients are um, clients that you have actually, actually written the business for. That means you've submitted their application, you are the agent of record, and or you were the agent of record. If someone swooped in and steal them, they still might show up in your clients. Leads. Leads, if when you pull someone in from start an application, this is where they come at first. Until you enroll them in a plan, they will stay in your leads. You have to enroll them in a plan for them to get clients. So leads are people coming in here. And also, um, I'll show you this when I get to the marketing tab. If you use some of the marketing resources HealthSherpa uses, um, whether it be for SEO, Facebook advertising, or just, you know, general sending links out to people on an email list, they will pop up in here with their information. I'll get to that in a second. So we're going to bounce between leads and marketing insights. That's analytics right now. There's nothing to show because this account is minutes old referrals. Like I said, we're leaving referrals off for right now because O'Neill marketing has a ton of options. I'm not going to uh, beat that dead horse, but one thing I do want to emphasize, hide non-appointed carriers from your plan results. So 
you know, remember for Florida, we didn't choose blue. So when I search in an area code, it's not going to show any blue plans. That's if you're doing screen sharing with your clients that you meet online. I mean, I bet there's going to be a ton of virtual business this year, right? You know, the state of the world right now. Um, you might not want them to see the platinum blue plans in Florida, which costs around a thousand dollars. You might though, that could be a sales strategy. Like look how expensive this is. But you know, some people don't want, uh, their clients to see every option. I do like my clients to see every option. I think as a health insurance agent, you should lay everything out on the table. You should be totally honest with them. There's reasons I don't carry certain carriers. It's because I don't believe in the product. And I do stress that to the client. And that's almost more powerful than um, just not showing them at all. So I turned it, I'm going to turn it off. Actually, I'll leave it on for this example so I can show you in the quote when we do a quick one, just overview of a quote. The marketing tab. This is a great, great tab. Looks a little different. Your free custom ACA marketing site. That is actually brand new. We're going to be adding that to the update next week. I'll get a little more information on there and I'll probably um, do some testing stuff. But what it really is, and it's looking like what it is, is it's your direct link. It's this right here. And you might be like, what's, what's my direct link? This direct link's awesome. You can, uh, you know, go on Facebook, you can send an email to your clients. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, why would you do that when there's a copy button right there? So I got tons of Chrome open, but basically new tab come in here. I want to show you guys what this direct link does firsthand. We come in here, boom, look at this. Um, this is actually linking to my other HealthSherpa account, but it gives my name, my MPN. And when you put this, if they put their zip code in, they put their name in email and they click see plans and prices that information. And you'll get an email that, you, you know, to the email you signed up with. Sorry. <clears throat> you will, you'll get an email from Hal Sherpa and it will say you have a new lead and that lead will pop into your lead section. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, they, we even got an example lead in here, man. Hell Sherpa is stepping up. I love it. I love everything they're doing. Please spend some time just to play around with this great platform. Back to marketing. So the direct link will pop them right in there. Company information. Remember when I did that earlier and I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, that's just some company, you know, add your company information. If you have Best Insurance Florida, put that in there. Put your company phone number in there. It helps with... Um, uh, giving information to your clients. <laughs> Let me take a sip of water real quick. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. A lot of words today, a lot of words. You can upload your logo. As you saw on my other, see, you can see this one on my current health Sherpa. It just says my name up there. But when we did that link, it took you to my other health Sherpa, the one I actually use for my client base and does have personal information. So I'm not using that for this webinar. Uh, you were able to see I have the O'Neill insurance logo, which, you know, just it just adds that extra touch, that extra flair to really give the client a better experience, helps build trust. I highly recommend doing it. If you don't have a logo, it's understandable. Can always use canva i love canva I make a lot of stuff on canva uh give me a call i'm not gonna get any more into that though you can change your color palette you can choose a lifestyle photo from here uh i think these are pretty good and you can upload a new photo you can have your own photo some people do google analytics that's connecting to your Google SEO account. That's a little higher level stuff that if I wanted to get into that, that would be a webinar with on its own. I did that last year for O'Neill marketing. It was actually really cool. I learned a lot about SEO and stuff. Um, I haven't revisited it in the last couple of months just because it's a good way to throw a lot of money away. But it's helpful. You can invite other agents to Hell Sherpa. That's basically what they're trying to do here. I don't really mess around with this page, to be honest with you. But if you want to, like I said, look into it, see if you can benefit from that at all. Settings. And the greatest thing about Hell Sherpa, settings there and settings there. So we got multiple, <laughs> we got multiple setting areas. 
but I call I basically have started to tell people this is the quick settings, right? Support carriers, Spanish, log out. This is the long setting. Highly recommend doing this. Um, you can change your email address. He, well, I'm to be honest, guys, I've never changed an email address. Maybe Carrie can elaborate that on that after this. But you know, current password. I know you can change your password here, so I'm gonna probably say you can't change your email address. FFM account information. Let me make sure there's no PI on there. Okay, no. So first name, last name, MPN, FFM user idea. That's where all that information went. Your agency. Look. See O'Neill Marketing because during that uh, that six three three four we put in there, there it is again, guys. In case you missed it, six three three four linked us to O'Neill Marketing. Even gives uh, the O'Neill Marketing number, which uh, if you call that number, that takes you directly to Carrie. So I bet that will be changed soon. Payment email send automatic payment reminder emails to your clients. Yes, 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 yes. I, if you don't have that on, I go turn it on now. When you set up your account, turn it on. That needs to be on. I don't even know why that's an option. Maybe you don't want to bug your clients. If your clients aren't paying, they're going to lose coverage. They're going to have uh, tons of issues, tons of problems that needs to be on. And the other thing is some people don't pay, you know, with a bronze plan that can be fully subsidized by the government. And you know what? Who cares? Leave that on. That needs to be on. Uh, can't stress that enough. Back to the hub for clients. As much as I'd love to take up all your guys' time and go through all of these, please do that when you guys have some time. One more thing. I do want to go back. Uh, let's do this. So let's say you pick up another state halfway through or, you know, through open enrollment. You're like, damn, man, I'm missing a lot of, like I've said, California, Colorado, Texas, North Carolina, Florida. You guys want to make money in ACA? Those are your states. Sell there. Reason California is good is they got to get through covered California, which in the upcoming months that may or may not be integrated with Health Sherpa. Right now, they do have a notification that it's not correctly linking to uh, covered California. Could be because they're doing some back end work to make sure it works smoothly for open enrollment. We'll see in the upcoming weeks. That's why it's very important to stay tuned to the two o'clock webinars on Thursday for industry updates. Because when we have uh, definitive information, we will, I don't know if that was right. We will definitely let you know and we will update you on that coming. Another thing, Colorado, another reason, and it's these two states got levels of barriers as I call them with, um, big markets for ACA. Uh, Colorado has connect for Colorado. That's their state marketplace. You got to take tests. You got to get on there. It's amazing how many agents that actually deters from like, I'm not going to sell there. I don't want to do that. I don't have the time to do it. I understand that. I get it. But to be honest, once you get that done, you can now sell in those markets that have turned off so many agents just because they don't want to um, get registered with those platforms. But let's say you're like, damn, Matt, you... We're telling me about North Carolina. I want to sell some bright there because that is a great area to be selling bright. Like if there's one thing you take away from this, sell bright in North Carolina, a lot of money to be made there, but you want to come up here, edit appointments, add your state. We are going to find North Carolina and look, you're like, wait, what, what happened? What it do? North Carolina is here now. You can sell blue cross there. But like I said, let's be, let's be pumping that bright there. There's money to be made doing that. Come there, check that. So now we, and I'm going to leave Ann Better and Signa off. I, I don't have a zip code for there. For the sake of it, I'm going, actually, let's do this. So we added that. Make sure you scroll back up here and you want to click this done button, right? So now we got North Carolina and Bright Health quickly go to our quote. I want to show you some of these updates now. So one more time, we're going to use the 436. No savings applied because we haven't done it. Here's another thing. So earlier when I was showing you guys quoting with Hal Sherpa, I was pushing people out of the government subsidy range for a single member household. And actually we'll show you a chart on this a little more. This is where we're going to segue into next, but the magic number here is going to be 12760. That's going to give them the full subsidy. That's the bare minimum. And you're like, 
how do you know that? Well, one thing I try to teach a lot of agents I work directly with is I have this, I used to use this for different purposes, but now this has really become um, a staple of a lot of my personal one-on-one trainings. Um, you know, that's where I got that number from. This stands for federal poverty level, 100%. Now, why do I have this weird number 138? You guys might remember this when uh, doing your 215 or I know there's the partial license that just gives you the right to do health or the privilege, I should say, to do health. We have Medicaid expansion states and then we have non-expansion states. And it's funny because look at when I say the really profitable ones, they're non-Medicaid expansion. So you only have to hit for the orange states. Let me simplify it. For the orange states, you got to hit this 100%, right? For these blue ones, you got to hit this 138. And, you know, I have different family sizes in here. These are the maximum penalties up top here, just in case, you know, the client asks about that. I, I don't know if I want to get too much into that today with you guys, because that is higher level ACA stuff when it comes to that. But I'll briefly get to that in a second. You got different family sizes here. So if you're a two member family, but you're only making 12 let's just say 13,000, you're only making 13,000, the health strip is going to want to push them to Medicaid, right? Because you didn't meet the cutoff for the orange state. We're only talking about orange states right now. I got it up to eight member families, but the honest truth is health strip is going to cut you off at around five. So just to even make a statement, let me try to even delete these. Delete rows. And these numbers, Health Sherpa gives you a leeway. I've noticed that. I mean, I spent a ton of time in Health Sherpa. Health Sherpa gives you leeway. We, during open enrollment, they were accepting 12,000 for minimum. I don't know why they do, but if you guys want the exact numbers, I got it here. Email me. I can send this to you. Um, or you can wait a couple of days and I'll probably throw it up on the website somewhere under ACA because this is a great resource, especially with the new numbers that came out in the 2021 FFM. Anyways, back to the quoting platform. That's where I got that number. One member household, the bare minimum. That means they are going to get the maximum subsidy. Now look at this. We're coming in here and our premiums are $0. $0 all around. In the bronze area, the deductible hasn't been changed. You can look at silver. Since they, qu they qualified in this income range for CSR, cost saving reduction. When <laughs> And I love this. Sometimes it's, insurance is a balance, right? Like we're just, we're a balancing act on every tier of what we do. And it's like, do you want to give, the, now the client has to pay a minimum. And the, we're looking at silver plans here. Let's really emphasize that. We're not looking at bronze plans anymore. There's no, 99% of the time, there's no such thing as a zero premium silver plan. Maybe it was a bug. I thought I saw it once. I've seen a lot of stuff, guys. but. For the, just know this, there's no zero premium silver plans. It's best to remember that they got to pay something. Um, but look, would you pay $18 a month and then have a $0 deductible that they have a $0 deductible because they're getting CSR. So yeah, see, I can't remember where I've seen them though. Do you remember where you've seen them? Like I'm no South Florida has got something from Molina, right? And then age too, right? Oscar, Oscar had it. Yeah, and I think age does play into that too, guys, to be honest. I think when you, you might see it more and more when you get into like the fifth, don't quote me on this, but when you get into the fifties and stuff. So even as Carrie chimed in and said, they, um, they do exist. They're there, but they're not for, I mean, you'll find them when you come across them. So this is silver plans, $0 deductible. Then you got reduced deductible. I bet if we didn't have the CSR here, that deductible would probably be in the range of $5,500. Cigna, love me some Cigna. And look, doctor visits and stuff. So CSR can be great if you can get the client to pay the $24 every month, which is why it is so important to make sure uh, client payment reminders are on. You definitely want to make sure those are on. Um, 
So that's understanding the different income levels and how it helps with quoting. I briefly went over it. I could sit here and I could go into depth about it, how that happens with taxes. I will briefly get into that too. Because remember, I uh, teased this penalty a little bit. But the thing about that is there's actually limits for what the penalty can be. Um, how it happens is if, you know, when you supply that income on Health Sherpa, the income estimate right here, that's not, that's not a government form they're filling out. That's, that's an estimate, right? That's, you're not saying they're going to make that. Their income might change. Like they might get a new job. They might be like, I hate my job. I'm quit and go get a new job that makes an extra 20,000 a year. Like, wow, awesome. Great. Their income's now changed. And that is a, a huge increase in income. So penalties exist, but yet penalties are capped. And when I mean penalties are capped, that comes back in a tax return or in owing the IRS. So let's say you understated, you had a client and you said they were making the bare minimum. They were making that $12,760 and then now they're really making $30,000 a year. Well, look, $30,000 puts them in here. So for one person individual, they will have a penalty at least or I should say this, a maximum of an $800 penalty that they will, it will either directly come out of their tax return if they overpaid taxes during the year uh, uh, when they filled out their W-4. That's, that's tax stock. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but they'll come out of their tax return or it will make them owe come tax filing time. So they may owe money to the government. And they might be like, why do I owe so much money to the government? It's because you were taking a premium tax credit. Well, they were taking a premium tax credit from the government um, to help subsidize their health care when really they, they didn't qualify for that or they didn't deserve as much subsidy as they had gotten. So now they have to pay that back to the government. Um, so it's really important to get the estimate there. Now, here's the thing. In my scenario, a couple minutes ago, I mentioned they made an extra $20. You can always go to Health Sherpa. And I want to show you guys this. If they, their income changes during the year, and I hope we can, I can show you with this client. I really hope so. Next page, next page. Uh, let's just do it here. Let's renew. I'll show you right here. But when you're in the client page and you see the client, it's got all their client information. You can go to report changes. You don't have to go to healthcare.gov. The client can call healthcare.gov and speak on their behalf. That's an option as well. But um, they can, you can, as the agent, if they want you to do it for them, you can just come in here, click report changes. You can go into the income and you can increase it. Now that's gonna probably make their premium go up. If they make more money, their premium's gonna go up because they're getting less government subsidy, balancing actually. But um, you know, come tax time, they won't have a penalty or you'll be safe. That's a lot of health share, but that's a lot of information. I'm always available to help you guys with that. I mean, I am getting more booked up and busy now. One thing I do want to talk about, I know Carrie is probably going to hop on here and fill in some of the gaps I did. Uh, let me see if I can cover this real quick. So maybe he doesn't have to. You can always get 1095 Mazer. That's a tax form. You can get that here. Uh, you really won't have to worry about that till like 20, if you write a plan now, I think till like 2022, you won't have to worry. Past clients, yeah, definitely. There it is. Um, so it doesn't actually let you click into here, but I do want to show you this the follow ups. How do I want to state this? There's, there's two realms of ACA there's open enrollment, which is your November 1st to your December 15th, where writing ACA is the easiest type of health insurance to write. Remember, it's the Trojan horse, it gets you in the door. However, writing ACA during SEP is not hard because now, or is hard, er, because you actually have to do government, um, you got to have qualifying events, right? Like what qualifies you for SEP? Now I'm going to give you guys a little uh, quick thing that's going on. This is something new-ish that's happening. We all, everybody knows about COVID. If you don't, I don't know where you've been. You've been under a rock. But... Um, a lot of people are getting furloughed, maybe even losing their jobs. And that means they're losing employer sponsored coverage. And, 
you know, where do they turn? ACA, even the government says this, ACA is supposed to be the safety net. And a lot of people need that safety net right now. And this is something that is, it's getting to me because it's supposed to be there as a safety net. However, a lot of people that are writing business during this SEP, not open enrollment right now, if you wrote a plan right now, you're writing it during SEP. Um, the government and the insurance carriers, you know, they're taking a lot of this hit. They're, they're the safety net. So one thing that's new that they're doing is if you were to get someone on an SEP right now, before they can even pay their premium, see where it says pay now? That's a lie right now. You cannot pay until you upload documentation. You write an SEP right now, you have to be able to verify through Health Sherpa with the marketplace and that information needs to get to the carrier before they will let you submit a payment. Now, that's for SEP. For open enrollment, that's, it's going to go back to normal. During open enrollment, if you're only writing during open enrollment, you can go in there. And what I've been told, I mean, this is the future. I, I can't see the future. But what Health Sherpa's told me, what the marketplace has told me, and what the insurance carriers have told me, come open enrollment, you will be able to pay the premium again. So you'll be able to write it, pay the premium, and then supply additional documentation, such as verifying income. Uh, there's immigration status, citizenship status. There's, there's a whole list of them. They're, they're different things depending how the application goes. But you can upload that documentation right through HealthShare. But what you do, and it's under this follow-ups tab, when you click on the client, it's one of the first boxes that comes up. It's always in your face, so it's right there. It even gives you the status, action required, pending. It means it's been uploaded, it's been submitted. You're waiting on the marketplace to verify that. and um, you know, give it the pass. Carrie has told me this today, and I, I'm going to start stressing this among informations. You want to have a cover page, right? And it's part of the documentation. Documentations don't have to be just one page. Have a cover page, then have what they need. So for verifying income, they're not saying it here, but they might want a, a pay stub. Uh, they, they most likely want a pay stub. That's going to be one of the best ways to do it. But there's, they give you a couple different options. Uh, you want a cover page. And what do, what do we mean by cover page? Well, cover page is something that says, this is Jane, Jane Doe's. Um, this is a pay stub of hers showing the income she makes from year to year. You know, just a, a brief summary, like an introduction. Attach that to the document, upload documentation, send it to the marketplace. Carrie had said that is really helping getting things pushed through and not causing more problems later down the road. And then as always, they can, you can take payment from the client right over the phone and click the pay premium when things are going perfectly and you can do the payment right through HealthShare. So this is great, guys. This is a great platform to be using. Client information, it shows, it even shows their plan, you know, was, that's what it was before the government subsidy. You know, government subsidy came in and it's helping them there. Gives, are they enrolled? If they're not enrolled, it could say canceled. If they canceled the plan, uh, it could say canceled because they didn't pay their premium, because they weren't getting those emails. Um, could be they didn't upload the documentation on time, so the plan was clashed. Shows the member hours on there, the members that are associated with the plan. FFM ID, some people, you know, some agents use that, others don't. I use that stuff because, like I said, we are doing business, or book of business protection, so those are very important for me. Effective dates, summary of benefits. Remember we got that when we were looking at plans, where you can get it from here again, in case they're like, oh, I, I can't remember what my specialty visit copay is or what it is after deductible. What's the percent of coinsurance? You can get it again right there, download it, send it to the client. Carrier phone number if they got to call the carrier or you got to call the carrier to get some more. And this is a new feature. Carrie mentioned this in the uh, industry update. I'm going to be wrapping things up shortly, guys. Sorry. Um, agent of record, it shows your MPN. I mean, uh, if it shows your MPN, you are the agent of record. It may, I forget exactly what it says, but it says something that obviously indicates you are not the agent of record. And some people in agencies, you can see other people in your agency's MPN. I've, I've seen that. Like some of my things carries MPNs on there. It's a little weird. I don't know if you will encounter that just the way O'Neill marketing structured. I do see certain weird things from time to time. We went over that, tox documentations. You can even add your own notes, play around with that. That's getting Health Sherpa started. Quick overview of it. Um, one thing I do want to cover because it's we need to start doing this as O'Neill Marketing, you know, one on one. Every 
if you sell someone a zero dollar premium uh you know so you sell them a bronze and it's a zero premium or you get one of them nice silver zero premiums something like that uh let's focus on the bronze plants so you get them a zero premium bronze plan yeah they're not paying a premium but did you see that deductible if you, if you guys remember, a lot of those deductibles fall around $6,500. And then on top of there, let's spend a quick minute on this actually. Because this is, this is going to be important stuff for when you come writing um, business, you know, to, to help your clients. Let's do three, three, four, three, six. Let's do, just for this example... Look, so they're not paying any premium. They're getting, this is basically free for them until something happens to them. And this is, you know, these are really like glorified catastrophic plans, like a catastrophic plan that has uh, government mandated benefits, which we talked about a minute ago. Look at this deductible, $6,800. Look at this deductible. It's 8,000. It's the same as the out of pocket, right? And then you come in here and we're going to take a, a deeper look into this. You know, you can always, this is summary of benefits, a third. Oh, wow. That's new for Molina. That's why I don't click Molina a lot. Where's my Sigma, baby? Give me my Sigma. So we actually do it like this. How I did it for an agent two days ago. Here we are. Summary of benefits again. Another way to get that button. Um, take a look at this. Oh, well, it's different. But sometimes the coinsurance after deductibles will be 40%. So even after you hit the, um, let's say they, let's say they, something's catastrophic. And I even pulled it up here on healthcarebluebook.com. You know, the coronary artery bypass graph thing. So they had a heart attack. Look at this. Without any health insurance, you know, the fair price. And I, I'm using the same zip code for everything, guys. I put that in earlier. Uh, that's a cost of a really nice car. You know, that's a down pay. That's probably more than a down payment. Eh, that's a 20% down payment on a house. That's a lot of money. That's some, that's, that's like a salary. Um, you know, just cause they had a heart attack and there's other, other expenses tied to a heart attack. If you don't have, you know, basic ACA insurance, you're, there's no cap on your liability. So, I mean, when people say I don't have health insurance, I don't have enough money. A, the, that's ignorance. And then B, you know, you should be like, hey, let me try to help you. But the point I'm trying to get at here is, you know, this basically caps out of pocket max. Once they pay $8,150, the insurance takes over. For this example, the deductible and out of pocket max, they are the same. Sometimes they got to hit the deductible and then there'll be 40% coinsurance, right? So you hit, you pay $6,000 for a deductible, but then everything after there, the insurance covers 40% and you, or you cover 40, they cover 60. My bad. Sorry, guys. Um, but you need a little help, you know, right? So they're like, dude, I don't have that kind of money in the bank. Like what's going on? You know, well, you're not paying anything for a bronze plan. You know, you <laughs> say it a little nicer, I guess. You're not paying anything for a bronze plan you know, pay a little bit a month. Let's get you a Nat Gen. Let's get you an accident plan. This is actually the, the Nat Gen quoting. Carrie went over this yesterday. I was trying to streamline it, go quick with you guys, but click, go to Nat Gen and your quoting button, click accident. I love these. I love the accidental medical, ex, uh, medical expense and sickness hospitalization, uh, CHS, cancer, heart, stroke. They're, they're different covers. Look at this though. So, Important thing to look at on here, uh, deductible. So, I mean, they got to pay a deductible, but max benefit and certain things it pays out. These can help cover that astronomical deductible. Look, look at this, 8150. And then the other, I'll just tell you, the other out-of-pocket was 8150. I mean, for $23 a month, basically, <laughs> you can't beat that. You know, you're not paying anything for the ACA plan. Now you're paying twenty three fifty eight. If anything happens to you, this is going to help you with your deductible. Well, if it fits what it covers. Now, this is just accident, medical expense, cancer, heart stroke. But I mean, why wouldn't you stack this on? I mean, it's full coverage. You're, you're putting the pieces together. You're helping people. And then on top of it too, Carrie did want me to mention certain plans like Ambetter, like uh, Ambetter Care 5. 
uh, what's it called exactly? I got too many health Sherpas open. Gotta love it. Some, some plans. And I, I know Oscar's doing it this year too. Um, they're going to be, they got plans where they attach dent. See right here, essential care one plus vision plus adult dental. Yeah, that's great and everything. But like I said, we, we spent the time we've worked with carriers where I would honestly tell people grab the and better essential care one, uh, with the $0 premium and then sell them the, carrier will go more into this with the dental and stuff like that. Like it's just, it's going to work better for everybody. So that was a ton of information. You guys got any questions or anything you want me to get a little more into depth on certain things I covered, email me, email Kerry. He'll probably forward it to me. Um, just try to email me. It's Matt at O'Neill marketing.net. I'm around all the time. More than happy to help you guys get into depth with stuff.